All right, today we're gonna install Luke's front fender kit. Wish you guys have an idea of what we're looking at here. Those are following off of his instructions. Okay. So, speedo cable, gonna be these bolts right here. And the new kit comes with the correct length bolts. Uh, my finger's in the way. Come up here. Right there's the top. There's the bottom. They are 10 millimeter. I'm going to go ahead and take these ones out. All right, guys, here's everything we're going to need. Your kit from Luke, a Sharpie. Uh, your instructions will tell you what size drill bit. I am using, I can't read it. I can't read it. It's all marred up. A center punch. I'm using a spring-loaded center punch. Piece of tape. And your fender. So. Pull it out. Oh, I did forget. I'm going to use a grinder or a journal and cut these off. Just so they don't mess up anything with the shocks. So I'm going to do that first. This is a Dremel brand. It's... Definitely old, but it's just a Dremel brand, cut off. I'm just going to come in. I'm not marking nothing. I'm just going to do it. Come back when it's done. So if a Dremel's all you got, it'll work. But good Lord, that's taking forever, and I do not have the patience for that. Try to cut it off as flush as you can. You can always come back with a either a grinder or a Dremel or even a file if that's all you have. And just clean it all up. Be back in a second once it's clean. Okay, our pieces are cut off. They're smoothed out. Looking good. So the kit's going to tell you to put them in the middle. I'm going to put them slightly more to the back. Maybe even on this back ridge. Mm. Eh, we're going to go with the kit, what the kit says. But I am going to lay down tape. So it will help a little bit. So it doesn't mess up your metal as much. All right, now we're going to get into our kit. Top and the bottom. Okay, two longer bolts with a shoulder. This will be your top piece. It's got a notch cut out that fits perfectly on the fort, on the triple tree. And this will be your bottom piece. Bottom piece will fit right there in the middle. Like I said, I want mine to be a little, little more farther back. Let's hope this is going to reach. And it's not, so you don't actually need a pick. 
open. But try to keep it as center as possible. And I'm going to go as back as far as I can on the circles here. And just take my center punch and go in the middle. Okay. You got that. Take your bolt. Match it up with your screw just like so. Or your nut or bolt. Yeah, bolt to the drill bit. Match it up. That's how you find out what size drill bit you need. But Luke does tell you in the kit. And if I looked, I would probably have that paperwork somewhere. Because I bought two kits. Okay, but give me just Okay. This is the part I hate. And the vice isn't holding it, it's just sitting in there. This is the part I hate because I'm not the best with a drill. Yep, we're gonna go back to the table. Ooh. New fender, don't be dumb. Put it back on the bubble wrap or soft surface. Start slow and try to keep it from walking. That's what the center punch is supposed to do. in the first hole same thing on this side okay and I like to wall them out just a little bit because like I said I'm terrible with the drill Because if you look, that don't look anywhere near right. Put your tape off. Grab your file pick here and just kind of clean up what you can. I'm going to truth. We're going to see if it even closely lines up. Or if I just drilled holes in my fenders completely off. Oh, look at that. It's completely off. Well, that's going to look like crap. But, I'm going to slide it just a little bit so I can slide it left to right to make sure it's center. Let me do that and I'll come back. Alright. I'm not really happy with it, but nobody's going to see it. It's all slotted. It'll work just fine. I did have to use a file to get a little more clean, but yeah. So now we're gonna move over to the bike and put it on. I like to go ahead and pull this little mount off. It's just two Phillips heads or JS, JS, uh, I should say it on there. JST, I believe. Okay, don't forget your Loctite. And everybody constantly talks about rattles, so I like to put a little silicone just to keep everything tight. So, I actually didn't do this on the black bike over there, but I haven't had any issues. But, with everybody talking about rattling problems... Let it fall on the ground. And I mean, a little goes a long way. Okay. A little bit of silicone on the top part, the undermount, and Loctite on those. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to stick my bottom piece in and just kind of wiggle it all around. I want it to sit centered. I guess I should be showing you guys how. Wiggle it around. And get it to sit center as possible once I get both the bolts through. Put this 
one's gonna come up. Slide over. Yeah. So we're centered. This is where it's kind of tricky. So this notch goes to the back. There's a little notch right here that they match up with. Tilt it, slide it through, put that all the way over to the side, which is your speedo cable. See if we can tilt that actually behind the horn. Okay. I'm going to try to keep this straight so you guys can see it more. And all you're seeing is the back of my arm. Okay. Let me get one of these started. And I'll kind of give you guys a better glance what I'm talking about. wire out of the way which you'll be using those wires eh, we're probably going to use these wires for the headlight but switch nope one time okay so right here is what you're going to watch the top of this and this you can push back and forth to get it all lined up and started and once i get everything nice and tight i'm going to make sure this is pretty straight and wipe off that excess just so it's nice and pretty. So just get in here with your 10 mil, crank it down, and it'll start to suck that front fender up. Like you normal people with all these with this project today. I don't want to take the time to get everything out to wobble socket to put that on for my impact to just zip it up real quick. Make these videos short as hell. So, I'm just coming in with a little bitty screwdriver to get rid of the extra silicone. Oh, lordy. Same thing on the back, same thing on the bottom, and I'm just wiping up any excess silicone that I put on there. You probably don't even need it, but, I don't know, I'm a fat guy, and I actually do ride this thing quite often. Well, I ride the black one quite often, this one, I haven't even took it on the block yet. So, I'll zip this down and I'll come back and show you. All right, and the sake of being honest, guess what I forgot? My washer and my lock washer. So these bolts gotta come back out. Oh, Lordy. Okay. Dump the washer and the lock washer off. The washer goes on first. Well, uh, backwards. Right. Yeah. The lock washer goes on first, then the washer. Lock washer, then the washer. And always start everything by hand. And I know, I'm cheating.
still struggling. 